Councilmember Irby? Here. Councilmember Page? Here. Councilmember Wassinger? Here. Councilmember O'Mara? Here. Councilmember Dolan? Here. Councilmember O'Leary? Here. Councilmember Harder? Here. Mr. Chair, we have a quorum. Uh, move for <laughs> approval of the journal and meeting of December 1st, 2015. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. The journal is approved. We had no bid openings this evening, so we will move to communications. Mr. Chair, there are no tax compromises, zoning matters, or road and bridge matters this evening, so we'll move to other communications. Under other communications, item number one. We receive file and the county council will be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. And that will be the order. Item number two, <coughs> <our> districts. <coughs> receive file, and that will be the order. Item number three, fourth district. Receive file, and a change of owner will be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Item number four, fourth district. Receive file and a deposit agreement in the subdivision plat be approved as recommended. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> motion carries. Item number five. See file and the appointment be approved as requested. Same motion for item number six. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number seven. Receive file and the same motion through item number 10, and that will be the order. Item number 11. See file and the county council will be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. Same motion for item number 12, and that will be the order. Please read the uh, add ons. Item number 1, 5th district. See <coughs> file and the county council will be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Item number 2. Receive and file, <coughs> and that will be the order. Item number three, six district. Receive file and change of owner be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, Thanks, Ed. No further report this evening. Okay. There are no reports to special committees this evening, so we will move to public forum. And if Six speakers this evening. Thank you. When your name is called, if you please come forward and, and if you would mind, please state your name and address, please, and keep your comments to three minutes or less. First speaker is Jenny Schrappen. Good evening. My <coughs> name is Jenny Schrappen. I live in South County, District 6. Um, 5242 Camelotta States Drive, St. Louis 63129, and have lived there for a lot of years. Um, I, uh, I had a sign in my yard supporting Steve Stinger when he ran for anything, but especially when he ran for uh, the executive, uh, executive position. And we, I represent an organization called Metropolitan Congregations United. I'm on the board there. Eight community organizations held a public meeting, uh, an accountability public meeting, regarding the Ferguson Report on November 1st. We had over 1,000 people attend. It was at St. Louis University. And we invited anyone of power and authority, especially the mayor, the chief of police for the city, the chief of police for the county, and Mr. Stinger, not one of them came. We were terribly disappointed. We know that Charlie Dooley would have been there. And I, we were so disappointed that I even said to myself, I wish I hadn't put Steve's sign up because we didn't know why, why they didn't come. Not one of them told us why. So we scheduled a second meeting, November 23rd. And then the mayor and the attorney general came 
so that they could talk about some of the things <coughs> they've already begun implementing regarding the Ferguson report. So now that we have, I have your attention, Mr. Stinger, I would like to know if you would meet with MCU privately, a representative or two. We've met with you many, multiple times before. We've always had a very good working relationship with you. Would you meet with us about this, enacting some of these prominent things like youth at the center, justice for all, racial equity, the racial equity lens, and opportunity to thrive. We're really thinking about the youth in this. Jenny, I'll, I'll respond this way. I have met with your organization either individually through myself or through my staff <laughs> more times than I can count. Okay, I, I've been, I, I have met with you many times. Um, With respect to meeting again, uh, that meeting would depend upon what the setting was. Okay, you mentioned how uh, Chris Coster came to your last meeting. You mentioned how uh, the mayor came to your last meeting. I read reports coming from the meeting. Uh, Chris Coster is booed uh, for- oh, that's not true. Well, that, that's what was reported. I was there. So I think that the meeting was uh, maybe a little less about what you're talking about and maybe a little more about uh, maybe elevating an organization. I have had and been fighting for police standards now for eight weeks, okay? Good. Uh, these are police standards that were supported by the Ferguson Commission, okay? Good. Members of your organization have been coming here now for eight weeks, mm -hmm. and we have not had an ounce of support for what is really social change legislation from your organization for eight weeks. So I have some real doubts. So we'd have to talk about that before I would be willing to meet again. But uh, I have some real doubts about your motivation. I really do. Because if you were motivated toward the community, these would have been standards that you would have been supporting. And I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in your organization. So, and if you're standing there and if you're being intellectually honest, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed in you too. Because where have you been for eight weeks while all this has been going on? While we've been fighting for social change in St. Louis County. It's a disappointing. Lot of people, a lot of MCU people have been here. It's very dis Well, they've been here every night, and not one of them spoke in support of, the, of that legislation. Not one. And we provided the organization with the legislation, and we heard nothing. <clears throat> Crickets. It's disappointing. Big change in St. Louis County, and you guys weren't a part of it. Next speaker is Andrew Kuhn. Good evening. My name is Andrew Kuhn. My address is 5340 Villa Angela Lane, Hazelwood, Missouri, 63042. I've lived in Hazelwood my entire life uh, near the airport. I'm a third year engineering student at St. Louis Community College and a maintenance operator for Public Water Sewer District 2, licensed by Missouri Department of Natural Resources. My current residence is under four miles as the crow flies from Bridgeton Landfill. The stench frequently drifts into my yard, through my vents to and from work, and as I visit DePaul where my mother is a nurse. Over the years, I have studied and written on this issue extensively, keeping close watch on the scientific data emerging from responsible parties and government agencies. Below is a succinct summary of how I presently understand the situation. Bridgeton Landfill, owned and operated by Republic Services, with regulatory oversight by Missouri DNR. This home to an underground fire, five years smoldering, emitting an excess of sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, methane, benzene, hydrogen, and oxygen. <coughs> As of November of 2015, temperatures in the neck between the north and south quarries exceed 300 degrees Fahrenheit near an engineered cooling loop. Adjacent Westlake landfill, presently an EPA Superfund site, 1.2 miles from the Missouri River, atop a major floodplain, experiencing two fires in 23 years, contains large deposits of thorium-230 decaying into radium-226. Excavated from Laddie Avenue, topsoil, neighboring Coldwater Creek, thorium-230, 60,000 times more radioactive than uranium, emitting alpha particles 20 times more carcinogenic than x-rays, 
commingles at Westlake with 19 organic solvents, increasing its mobility with the potential to disperse through emissions when in contact with elevated temperatures. Extensive groundwater and air monitoring tests confirm these sites in conjunction violate Clean Air and Water Act standards and is a legal basis for the State of Missouri versus Republic Services. EPA testing has revealed in a 1991 report of neighboring Ford property, off-site migration, and more recent tests have revealed radioactivity near the neck area of Bridgeton Landfill, delaying plans for an isolation barrier. I understand that the EPA is scheduled to uh, report some further on that this month. EPA's 2008 record of decision to cap and leave the waste significantly violates federal standards for remediation of such a site on grounds including conditions listed here. Bipartisan legislation has been introduced into House and Senate committees to transfer cleanup from EPA to USACE Foods Rep, remediating Manhattan Project legacy waste contamination in other areas of St. Louis with a high rate of success and safety. In response to Dan Norris's open letter to the people of Missouri, release of the expert testimonies in the AG's case. And can I wrap it up? This is my last yes. paragraph. Thank you. Apologize for running over. I read slow at the beginning. I decided to launch a petition to Governor Nixon requesting he declare preemptive state of emergency and facilitate interagency coordination in response under precedent set by the governor of New York in 1978 surrounding Love Canal, a markedly similar crisis. I'm still negotiating talks with Governor Nixon's governors, the governor's administration, but I would like to formally request of the county council as spokesperson for the Missouri Accountability Project, a grassroots organization dedicated to empowering citizens to effectively engage in government <clears throat> agencies as advocates for the protection of the environment and public health and safety, that you continue working towards a solution, including hazard mitigation, expanded and comprehensive okay. health studies, sure. and monitoring <clears throat> with all involved agencies. As concerns to constituents and taxpayers, we rightfully expect full transparency in these efforts and demand a voice in decision making that affects our everyday lives. Thank you. Next speaker is Joseph Miller. Give copies of this for the record. Excuse me, sir. Good evening. My name is Joseph Miller. I live at 4910 West Pine Boulevard in the city. I am a policy analyst at the Show Me Institute. I spoke here last week and I submitted testimony on the legislation on the loop trolley and why those overruns should be handled by the TDD and not by mass transit funds by the county. Uh, since last week, however, uh, more evidence has come from open information requests that shows that trolley planners first have known about the cost overruns of the loop trolley since late last year, but to ensure that the trolley project would move forward, they pre-committed taxpayers of this county to pay for those overruns. The true cost of the project and how it would be paid for has only been revealed now after the rails have already been put in the street. If the county moves forward with a project like this, with paying for these overruns, I think that the most important thing now is the precedent that would be set. It's bad enough that transit funds that were designed to save bus service in the county is being used to pay for a pet project. I mean, can you imagine what would voters would have thought when Proposition A was being passed if we told them that this was a project that this would go to? But I think much worse is the lack of accountability that paying for these overruns would enshrine. Taxpayers, when this was all being planned, were concerned about the cost of the project and they were concerned about who was going to pay for it. They were told by planners that it was going to cost $43 million and that general county taxes or city taxes were not going to be used. Those facts changed and taxpayers weren't told. Instead, the planners raced to get the project underway and now have presented this body and county residents with a fait accompli. <coughs> Passing this bill would create, I think, a dangerous precedent that the way to get things done in St. Louis County is not to tell the taxpayers what things are likely to cost and not to constantly give them information about how projects are going and how they're going to be paid for. Rather, it would say that the way to get things done is to misrepresent and to not tell people how much things are costing, not to tell them about cost overruns. And finally, to try to race to construction before the bill comes due. I don't think that's a precedent that county residents would like. I don't think it's a, count, it's a precedent that this council would like. And that's my comment, thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is Paul Berry the second.
to this honorable county council. My name is Paul Berry, the third resident of Bridgeton, Missouri. I'm here today to split my time between two issues. First issue uh, is regarding the uh, St. Louis Rowing Club. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with that, St. Louis County has a lease agreement uh, regarding Creve Coeur Lake, and it's a shared lease actually between Washington University and this private club. It's come to my attention that St. Louis County's old uh, uh, funds are supposed to be remitted regarding uh, specific uh, use of that facility, and they haven't received such. And I have some concern, uh, not only for that, but there are scholarship funds that are supposed to be utilized to provide kids an opportunity to be involved in rowing. I didn't grow up rowing, I grew up playing football. But why is it important? We create these opportunities and we have these parks for people that may not have the ability to fund like most of us can in our kids' activities. Wouldn't it be nice if we had four or six kids go to Ivy League schools because they learn how to row? I think it's a simple thing. And you know, we, we always, we, a lot of times we have large issues that we need to talk about, million dollar deals. This is something simple, but I think it's important. And I think that, you know, as executive, sir, that, uh, you know, obviously it's lower on the I don't expect you to know about this personally, but just to look into it, maybe there's something that can be done. If they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, you know, take action. You know, I mean, I think it's just a simple thing. If you think my interpretation's wrong on this, feel free to speak up. The second thing I'm here to discuss today is jailhouse corrections in <clears throat> municipalities through St. Louis County. This county council took up a bill regarding police standards, and I will tell you that I am fully in support of police standards. I did not support the county doing such. That's just an argument of whether the state's responsible versus the county. Um, an argument can be made that the state didn't take action on this for a certain amount of time, and I do respect that argument. However, I think that state obviously has the upper authority on this, and I think it's good to have a, one standard for all officers in the state of Missouri. But most importantly, when it comes to correctional standards, if you watch 60 Minutes and they show you Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, when they show you an inmate, they're getting rights to, to the Quran. They're being taken to a rec yard. They're being served hot chow. They're getting medical treatment. We've all seen these things before. What is happening in our municipalities in St. Louis County? Uh, two and a half years ago, there was actually an article from the Post-Dispatch, and I'm going to quote directly from the article. To keep people, we have to feed them. I had officers that went to save a lot and bought cold cuts and bread to give to our prisoners. Now, if that's what's going on two and a half years ago, after all Ferguson, all the boo-ha-ha, -ha, we're not meeting our constitutional responsibilities. That is completely and directly under health and safety. You have three minutes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is Tom Sullivan. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I would like to again object to the $3 million appropriation for the loop trolley. The trolley is not public transit. It has to be questioned if the expenditure is legal. Even if it was, it would make no sense to fund a trolley that goes over the same route as Metro, and there is no transfers between the two. The loop trolley has been a fiasco from the beginning, and you cannot believe anything the trolley promoter Joe Edwards has to say. For the past couple of years, he has repeatedly said that finances were fine, even better than expected. It seems obvious he wasn't telling the truth. Similarly, a big selling point for the trolley was there was no overhead wires in the business districts. And then Joe Edwards said that just wouldn't work and wires were needed the entire length of the trolley, something he had to know from the beginning. Trolley was supposed to promote economic development, but it caused some businesses in Loop to close even before construction began. It forced the pizza restaurant out of business with others set to follow. Some Loop retailers have lost 30% of their business due to the trolley construction. There is also an unresolved lawsuit against the Loop Trolley Transportation Development District. The case will be heard next year in St. Louis County Circuit Court. The trolley seeks to operate outside the boundaries of the district mandated by the court. When voters approved Proposition A in 2010, it was said the tax hike was needed to get people to work and provide adequate transportation for the disabled, not a word about trolleys. I would request a committee of the whole meeting on the appropriation or at least another week's delay. There has been a lot of misinformation about the loop trolley and some due diligence is needed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Next speaker is Abir Moten. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Abir Motan. I'm homeless and I'm representing all the homeless 
and everybody in the just um, who have to deal with the government, with corrupt police, with injustices, with corrupt jury, and with the people who are trying to hinder me from getting what I need for the homeless done. I'm going to read something that originally came from the Bible, and it says, Woe to them who covet evil gain for their military and their government, that they may set their nest of clones and duplicates, example, that they may be delivered from the power of disaster. They give shameful counsel, pastoring, preaching in their congregations and governments, cutting off many peoples and putting more sins against their own souls. <laughs> Woe to him or her who build, who build a congregation, town, city, country, or government with bloodshed, establishing, they, establishing a congregation or military, a city, or country of iniquity. They are filled with shame and only support daring infidels. They are terrible and dreadful in their judgment, and their dignity proceed from themselves. They work to slay nations without pity. Their law is powerless, and justice never goes forth. Some politicians of this day run amok. They are narcissistic. They are corrupt to possess dwelling places that are not theirs. For their wicked surround the righteous. Therefore, perverse judgment proceeds. Their people, their congregations, and their governments and businesses are all relatives. Everything is relative. Everything is so relatively politically corrupt. Indeed, because they transgress by wine, alcohol, drugs, pharmaceutical companies, black magic, warfare, witchcraft that they, that their <laughs> proud women and men, they don't stay at home because they enlarge their desire as hell and they are like death and they cannot be satisfied. They gather to themselves their clones, duplicates and nests in all the nations and they heap up for themselves all the peoples from their nests. That is why they are conflicts of interest. They are relatively related. This information came from the came as a warning in the Bible from the burden of or by which the prophet Habakkuk saw. This country is a country of many various people of many religions and national origins. Law must not only be from what they invented and sinfully claim from their Christ's nest. It has to be really honestly and truly diversified without the processed nests of theirs. It has to be equally and purely diversified. It does not have to be processed by what they claim to be from their Christ nest. This is a tactic that the German Nazis and other European countries did to the Jews to help them to fit in. This is a sinful process. This is like processing meats. Thank you. Well, I just want change, and I want to, you guys to treat me fair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That will conclude the public forum. We move to introduction of bills. Bill number 331, introduced by Councilmember Harder, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute an amendment to a lease with the landings at Spirit Associates LP for improvements to the ditch system on lease premises. <coughs> Bill number 332, introduced by Councilmember Dolan, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract and two renewals with Maximus Consulting Service Incorporated for professional services in connection with preparation with the central service cost allocation plan cap and indirect cost rate proposal. Bill number 333, introduced by Councilmember Dolan, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract and two renewals with Reuben Brown LLP CPA for accounting services in connection with the annual audit, the comprehensive annual financial report, and other matters. Bill number 334, introduced by Council Members Irby, Page, O'Mara, and Dolan, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract with HDR Engineering Incorporated for engineering services <coughs> for the two roadway improvement projects, AR 1503 and 1521. Bill number 335, introduced by Council Members Irby, Page, Wassinger, Dolan, O'Leary, and Harder, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract with George L. Crawford and Associates Incorporated, DBA Crawford, Bunty, Bramire for engineering services related to three roadway improvement projects, AR 1591, 1590, and 1589. Bill number 336, introduced by Councilmember O'Leary, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to grant Metropolitan St. Louis Sewer District MSD a sewer and star storm water easement and a temporary construction license for installation and maintenance of facilities for the Dammert and Broadway Sanitary Relief Project at 125 Kaiser Avenue. Bill number 337, introduced by Councilmember O'Leary, 
an ordinance declaring the public necessity of and providing for the establishment of a public road designated as Music Avenue, lying entirely within the unincorporated St. Louis County, directing the acquisition of real property, therefore, and authorizing the county executive to execute contracts, agreements, and related documents, CR-1452. <coughs> Mr. Chair, that is all the bills. Thank you. Perfection of bills. Bill number eight, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara. Hold, please. Bill, Bill number eight. Is held. Okay. Bill number 322, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 322. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill 332 is perfected. Bill number 323, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 323. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill number 323 is perfected. Bill number 324, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 324. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 324 perfected. Bill number 325 introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move to perfect bill number 325. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill 325 is perfected. Bill number 326 introduced by Councilmembers Dolan and Dolan for O'Leary. I move to perfect bill number 326. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 326 <coughs> is perfect. Bill number 327 introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move to perfect. Bill number 327. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill number 327 is perfected. Bill number 328 introduced by Councilmember O'Mara. Take it up. Move for perfection of bill number 328. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill 328 is perfected. Bill number 329, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara. Take it up. Move for perfection. Bill number 329. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill 329 is perfected. Bill number 330, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara. <coughs> Take it up. Move for perfection. Bill number 330. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 330 is perfected. All right. You ready, Jen? Yes, I am, sir. All right. Final passage. Bill number 52, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Um, please hold 50, bill number 52, and that will be the order. Bill number 116, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Please hold bill number 116, and that will be the order. Bill number 284, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Um, I move for final passage of bill number 284. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? No. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Wassinger? No. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? No. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 284, there are four ayes and three noes. Bill number 284 is finally passed. Bill number 289, <coughs> introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill number 289. Okay. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 289, there are seven ayes. Bill number 289 is finally passed. Bill number 290, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill number 290. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 290, there are seven ayes. Bill number 290 is finally passed. Bill number 291 introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill number 291. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 291, there are seven ayes. Bill number 291 is finally passed. Bill number 292 introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill number 292. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 292, there are seven ayes. Bill number 292 is finally passed. Bill number 293, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill number 293. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 293, there are seven ayes. Uh, bill number 
293 is finally passed. Bill number 294 introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move for final passage of Bill 294. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. There's a chair on Bill number 294. There are seven ayes. Four. Number 294 is finally passed. Bill number 295 introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill 295. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 295, there are seven ayes. Number 295 is finally passed. Bill number 296, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Final passage of Bill number 296. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 296, there are seven ayes. Bill number 296 is finally passed. Bill number 297, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill number 297. Second. Roll we'll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Bill number 297, there are seven ayes. Bill number 297 is finally passed. Bill number 298, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Final passage of Bill number 298. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 298, there are seven ayes. Bill 298 is finally passed. Bill number 299, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. For final passage of Bill 299. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, Bill number 299, there are seven ayes. Bill number 299 is finally passed. Bill number 300, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Final passage of Bill number 300. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 300, there are seven ayes. Bill number 300 is finally passed. Bill number 301, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Final passage of Bill 301. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 301, there are seven ayes. Uh, bill number 301 is finally passed. Bill number 302, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move for the final passage of Bill 302. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. So Chair, Bill number 302, there are six ayes and one yes. Bill number 302 is finally passed. <laughs> bill number 303, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill number 303. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. So Chair, Bill number 303, there are seven ayes. Cool. 303 is finally passed. Bill number 304, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Final passage of Bill 304. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Yes. Councilmember <coughs> O'Leary? Aye. <laughs> Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Trump, Bill number 304, there are seven ayes. Uh, bill number 304 is finally passed. Bill number 305, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Final passage of Bill 305. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Yes. Mr. Chairman, Bill number 305, there are seven ayes. 305 is finally passed. Bill number 306, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Final passage of Bill 306. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Yes. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Chair, Bill number 306, there are seven ayes. Bill 306 is finally passed. Bill number 307, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Final passage of Bill 307. Second. Roll call. 
please. Council Member Irby. Yes. Council Member Page. Yes. Council Member Wassinger. Yes. <laughs> Council Member O'Mara. Yes. Council Member Dolan. Aye. <laughs> Council Member O'Leary. Aye. Council Member Harder. Yes. Mr. Chairman, Bill number 307, there are five yeses and two ayes. So, all right. That makes it 307 pass. Bill number 308, introduced by Council Member Dolan. <coughs> I move for final passage of Bill 308. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Yes. Councilmember Harder? Yes. Mr. Chairman, Bill number 308, there are seven ayes. Bill 308 is finally passed. Bill number 309, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill 309. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chairman, Bill number 309, there are seven ayes. 309, 309 is finally passed. Okay. Bill number 310, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill 310. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chairman, Bill number 310, there are seven ayes. Bill 310 is finally passed. Bill number 311, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill number 311. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Yes. Chairman, Bill number 311, there are seven ayes. Bill number 311 is finally passed. Bill number 312, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage, Bill number 312. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Yes. Mr. Chairman, Bill number 312, there are seven ayes. Bill number 312 is finally passed. Bill number 313 introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final <coughs> passage of Bill number 313. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Yes. Mr. Chairman, Bill number 313, there are seven ayes. Bill number 313 is finally passed. Bill number 314 introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Bill number, I move for final passage of the final budget bill uh, number 314. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Yes. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. There's a chair on bill number 314. There are seven ayes. Bill number 314 is finally passed. Bill number 315 introduced by Councilmember Harder. I move for final passage of bill number 315. Second. <laughs> Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 315, there are seven ayes. Bill number 315 is finally passed. Bill number 316, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of Bill number 316. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 316, there are seven ayes. Bill number 316 is finally passed. Bill number 317, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. We move for final passage of Bill number 317. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, Bill number 317, there are seven ayes. Bill 317 is finally passed. Bill number 318, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. We move for final passage of Bill number 318. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 318, there are seven ayes. Bill number 318 is finally passed. Bill number 319, <coughs> introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage, Bill number 319. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 319, there are seven ayes. Bill number 319 is finally passed. Bill number 320, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. Move for final passage of bill number 320. Second. 
Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 320, there are seven ayes. Bill number 320 is finally passed. Bill number 321, introduced by Councilmember Page. I move for final passage of Bill number 321. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Meara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember O'Leary? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. The chair on bill number 321, there are seven ayes. Thank you. Uh, bill number 321, finally passed. Moving on to resolutions. Mr. Chair, we have one this evening. Resolution number one, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move for adoption of resolution number one. It's for a uh, young man who's earned his Eagle Scout uh, badge. Second. Second. Uh, please call the roll. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Page? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Meara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member O'Leary? Aye. Council Member Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on resolution number one, there are seven ayes. Uh, resolution number one is adopted. Uh, we have nothing under new business this evening, Mr. Chair, so we'll move to, uh, I'm sorry, unfinished business, so we'll move to new business. Under new business, we have two prepared orders. Two for adoption of orders one and two. Second. Did you want to mention that? Uh, Harder? Or? Yeah. Did you want to mention that? Oh, order number one is uh, next week we are moving the meeting up <coughs> to uh, 3 p.m. on Tuesday. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Orders one and two. Those are two. Yes. Uh -huh. Are adopted. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We are adjourned. Aye.